You looking a little stove up this morning? Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, turkey killing ain't easy. <laughs> I told David last night I was full, I was hurting. Today when he saw me, when we met at the traceway, he's like, yeah, you look bad. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know how it is. When you see the gates, the head knocking awaits. Yeah, more hip bones hurting. More hip? More hip bones is hurting. I feel like I need to shoot it with a shot of WD-40 or something. We didn't crawl that far on them. <laughs> they don't have to be far no more. <laughs> I went on to park the Ranger up under the eave. That way, to, at least the windshield, we can see through the windshield. We'll be having to ride with our heads out like two dogs. <laughs> Even though we are two dogs. Oh, my. Man, we got so much to get together. Yes. It's almost Easter. And then we're gonna lose some cold fronts after Easter. Right now, it's, I think it was a 42 this morning. Something yeah. like that. Still cold. Gotta enjoy it while we can. Yeah. It's gonna be like dragon's breath before it's up before long. It'll be hot as all get out. I'm gonna go and make sure this thing's loaded up good. And the pigs, I got a trailer right here, but the pigs are just right around this corner. And uh, we'll just walk up there. Uh, give me time. I'm trying to do a survey if it matters if we walk up on the cage or drive up on the cage on how wild they act. So for footage film wise, it's nice to just kind of quietly walk up, uh, you know, but uh, we shall see. But we're gonna put. in my pocket. You better put a handful in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, I shoot straight. Them pigs just hard headed sometimes. <laughs> we'll ease up here and see what we got. They have been in the field. The field is plowed up and it's so hard to set a trap in all that mud. Hey Walt. That's some fun size ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I tell you what, if they was about another 50 pounds, they'd be hard to handle. They're wiry. Don't know where this group come from. Oh, we caught some pigs on down the river a little bit, down the creek. And uh, all of a sudden he said he got a, he had a camera on the tree over there. He said, hey, I got a few hogs and come over here. This is just a good bunch of shots. I don't know where the mama's is or whatnot. Got one right there that didn't quite make it. He got kind of hung up on, got a neck wrong a little bit, but. Good thing. I can't even count. Uh, so we're, we're looking to try to get a uh, thumbnail, get a few pictures. Uh, you know, David, a lot of times people are always asking me, like, are you teasing the pigs? And we're not teasing the pigs. We're, we're, we're getting our footage and stuff for the show. But we have to give these pigs a chance to calm down. You know, a lot of people say, you should run up there and, and just start knock them in the head and be done with it. Well, if you've seen how wild they are while we're just standing here, not this group per se, but other groups, then you understand it. You can't just go shooting them like that. So, uh, we're just, these are pretty calm right here. But if you ever see us catch those big hogs and they're hitting the cages and they're doing all that, just remember, we're not teasing pigs. We're waiting on them to calm down so that we can make good ethical shots. And, uh, anyway, yeah, so we were looking for pictures and I was like, you want me to get over in there so we get a good picture? He's like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like 15 or 16. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty good eating size right here. That's a good little haul. So that's like... We've got almost 30 out of here in the last two weeks. How long have you been trapping down here? Oh, two years. I think I've, I've trapped two seasons down here. Oh, so that's, and this is like 30 pigs in the last two to three weeks. And I've caught 50 the first year. The first time I caught, I caught 50, and this is another 30, that's 80. And then I've been doing it. And then I caught this summer where I tore up everything. That was another 40, so 120 hogs in the last two years in this bottom right here, so, so. Off this one little property. Or however big it is. 450 acres, but, uh, it's in this old, I forgot what they call it, the, the uh, old river bottom, man, and it's just pigs everywhere. And we just do the best we can to control It's a mess. But... Ain't the worst. It ain't definitely the worst, but it's, it's gonna be a little mess. At least we sent it on dry ground. Yeah, I mean, this is one time we don't have a whole lot of mud, so we gotta be thankful for that, that's for sure. It's another beautiful morning, though. And somebody gonna eat good. Mm. He's a good eating kind right here. Good eating size. That's knock the hide and the head off of them, put them on that smoker. And you can handle them. A lot of people, you give them old big hogs, they can't handle them. These are the handling size right here. Oh. We'll get a head count on them here in a minute. I'm gonna pull the ranger up here. Figure out how to get that trailer turned around. See if we can't get it figured out. So these things, these pigs would over, you think they'd overrun deer and turkey populations or? Oh, most if definitely. You didn't, if you did not control them. Yeah, you gotta control these animals. I mean, it's, there's no ands, ifs, buts about it. You got, they're like, they're just big rats to me. You know, you ain't gonna let uh, rats hang out in your trailer hood. And uh, I mean, these things, well, you take 15 or six of these, 16 of these, going through the woods and just scavenging everything that's on the ground. There's turkey nest, that's oak uh, seedlings, acorns, whatever it takes away, they just suck it up. And uh, 
you know, baby fawns uh, during that time. I mean, they they can catch them too. You know, you you don't think of that, but they do. And then and then just tear the land up on top of that. Just tear it up. So a lot of people always asking, why am I doing this, or why are we doing this, or why so many? Well, you, when it comes to wild hogs in the southern states of, of America, you don't want them. You know, you got to get them knocked out as fast as you can. And trapping is about the fastest way you can do it, uh, the way we do it. So. Oh. This is not your favorite part of it. The dragon? No, 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 no oh. that too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, just shoot them in a pen. I know you, t you talk about it a bunch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of people can't do it, and you have to do it, you know, and uh, a lot of people always ask me, like, why don't you show the shooting? Well, I mean, it just ain't for everybody, and, and trust me, I've shot thousands and thousands a year, you know, and it's just, it's just part of what, as trappers, we have to do, you know, and uh, I mean, it ain't the most wonderful thing to do but you got to know that you're doing the right thing and uh and on top of that you know it is harvesting meat you know as well so uh there's going to be families eat today that normally wouldn't be able to fill that freezer you know and uh so we're doing a good part on that too but when it comes to feral hogs they got to go and uh, it don't matter the size uh or the gender it's got to go so uh, i'm gonna get this trap back up and get the ranger pulled up here and see if we can't get them loaded up and oh, i gotta get my hair cut so we, we're kind of rushing <laughs> i'm in a hurry <laughs> I had my buddy weld me a piece of angle iron in there. So maybe when I jack up with pigs on here, it won't fall over again. And he put me a side jack on there to fold up so I don't have to worry about it getting hung up again. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. Well, next thing is if we can get this in there whooped around somehow or another because I ain't no truck driver. I got CDLs, but they ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't good because I can't drive. <laughs> but uh, see, we can't get this thing turned around in here somehow another way. That's as good as it's gonna get. Well, you should get sponsored by Lifting Green Tea. I tell you that. I'm telling you, man. I don't. Diet. Diet. I got on that diet kick. <laughs> know what it is. My, 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 my neck was getting a little thick from all that sugar. <laughs> this trailer's got some use, hasn't it? Yeah, and that's my good trailer. <laughs> I think I, my whole trailer's over at Granny's house. <sighs> I'm supposed to be having somebody build me a trailer and put me a winch on the front of it. But. I keep tearing up winches like I did on my Ranger, then they might not build it for me. them dudes loaded up I'm gonna leave that trap set this is one of these traps I kind of leave down here uh, on this piece of property for right now <sighs> so maybe we have some stragglers you never know and uh, the main thing is can we get out of him because every time I got a trailer it's trouble down here it was looking a little rough while ago <laughs> <laughs> so we shall see Let's roll with it. One of these briars is going to catch my head. That's why I keep these on my ears. Can't see. Woo! 
bottomed out right there. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you scraped them rock pretty good. Oh, dang. Where? I heard her and I was like, who? Yeah. Where? We? Landowner just texted me. He's a little proud. He happy. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Dave, I think you just really wore me out yesterday. I don't have a lot of energy, like a lot of upbeat energy. Now, we played football, I mean, baseball last night up at Holly Springs, which is about two hours from here, so it was late getting in, but. Oh. Uh, Landowner's proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. You proud. Everybody proud. <laughs> and then when I take these to, uh, to the family I'm taking them to, uh, they gonna be proud, so. Any hoes? I uh, drug my trailer, so maybe we won't tear nothing up getting out of it, but we ain't there yet. We still got a little ways to go, so. It'll, you know be, well, it'll be well documented if, uh, if, <laughs> if you tear anything up. That's right, that's <laughs> right. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. We're going to go up here to the Traceway. We're going to go up here to the Traceway and get you dropped off. And uh, Man, I wish I had time. We could eat breakfast, but shoot, man. Got to get styled up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we back at the Traceway. My favorite place to be, home of the steak, catfish, and seafood. You come through Matheson in the middle of the night, there's one light shining, and it's on the Traceway restaurant. Oh. <sighs> Well, guess we can finish up a little bit. Another fine job. Another fine job. It is 8.50. I gotta, gotta get my hair did about 10 o'clock. Before, I'm gonna take these hauls, get them dropped off to the families. I got a guy that's gonna take them and split them with another family. So, uh, They'll be eating good, had a feed, freezer full. Hey, if y'all ever in Matheson, Mississippi, stop by the Traceway. It's good for your soul. Oh, but any which way, man, I wish I had time for breakfast, but we gotta get to rolling. Matt, I appreciate it. Thank you for everything. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless, and as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!